We're analyzing the data now from a larger study, now done across three studies with all the data merged together. And at the World GI Conference, it's taking place in June 2018 in Barcelona, Spain, a colleague of mine, Dr. Michael Nathanson, is presenting on behalf of our group here at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, as well as several other centers that participated in this trial, really focusing in on the patients with GI cancers. And the data with GI cancers is very similar to the data across many types of cancers. Virtually all the patients have meaningful responses. And this includes patients with pancreas cancers, colorectal cancers, and sarcomas of the GI tract, most notably GIST. We're very happy for those GIST patients because they seem to have some of the most durable responses as well. So this is just an overview of the Trek fusion scene, and the reason to focus on this is that we do have a new drug in development known as larotrectinib, as well as another one in development known as entrectinib. So two of them very close to FDA approval and probably worldwide, re worldwide regulatory approval after that. So there's a reason for oncologists across the world now to be on the lookout for these patients.